What's going on guys? Josh from EverydayFBA.com here with another Scout IQ book analyzing video. In the last video I put out on YouTube, I went to establish an army and sort some used media items. I was in store about 15 to 20 minutes, pulled out about 15 items. Five of those items were books. So we're going to go over these books in Scout IQ. I'll tell you exactly why I picked them out, what the methodology was, why they're good book buys, and who knows, we may even find one of these books turns out to be a dud because no, I am not perfect when I'm going out there sourcing. I don't always look as in-depth as I should, so there could quite possibly be a bad book in these five. But we'll go over the data in Scout IQ and see if these books aren't actually profitable. All right, guys, so here's the first book, Concepts of God, Religious Books tend to do very well. So if you guys know anybody with a nice collection of religious books, spiritual books, definitely hit them up to see if you can't uh, scan them or make some kind of bulk buy with them. Churches, estate sales, uh, swap meets, things like that. Find those people that are selling these religious books and get in there. So let's go ahead and scan it. I don't have my Bluetooth on me, so we're just going to use the old-fashioned camera. All right, so here it is, $8.43 profit, 1.9 million rank, 18 E-score. Now, this is not a great rank. It's not a bad rank. E-score says 18, so it's still selling 18 times, at least 18 times in six months. So that's about three times a month, if not a little bit more. So rank might be a little high for some of you guys to plan, but the profit is $8.43, and that makes it worth it to me. The other piece of the puzzle that makes this book worth it is that the lowest overall price is $17.99, and the first FBA price is $17.99. So having those kind of match up, or having this really be higher offers, $17.99, $17.99, $18.48, $27, $18 having these offers in the higher range is exactly the kind of books you want to find and buy on a regular basis. So the first FBA offers coming at $17.99 used, the new is $28. There's also not a ton of competition on this book, so 18 used offers, not bad at all. Overall, this is a good book for me to buy. Rank is not too shabby. E-score is all right. Not a lot of offers, and the pricing really does match up. I'm confident that I can sell this book for $17.99. All right, guys, so the next book is Sexy Mamas, Keeping Your Sex Life Alive While Raising Kids. You know what's interesting about going out and sourcing books is that I never really look at the titles if I'm using a database and I'm out there scanning. I know some of you guys probably look at the titles and are really selective with the books that you actually go ahead and scan. But for me, I just go ahead and I scan pretty much almost everything except for those things that I know are duds for a fact so I don't even look at titles so when I come home and I start looking at these books a little bit closer some of these titles are just pretty damn funny let's go ahead let's hit this one and see what it comes up with six dollars and seventy four cent profit six hundred and seventy four K rank thirty three e score all of these numbers are pretty much sweet and again you can see that the lowest overall is fourteen oh five with FBA coming in at sixteen ninety nine again a good indication of a book that has value so overall good numbers here you guys know I like to see this profit right here over five dollars I do take less than five dollars on some books which I'm sure you'll see here in a minute but I love to see it when it's over five pretty much on all my media items. Rank is good. E-score is good. Pricing pretty much lines up. I'm confident, again, that I can sell this book for $16.99. All right, next book, guys. Big Shifts Ahead. Demographic Clarity for Businesses. A business book. Business books also do pretty well, I find. Although they don't always have the most profit, they do have pretty good sales. So let's go ahead and scan this one in. $4.18 profit, 105K rank, 137 E-score. That is a great rank and a great E-score. Like I said, these kind of business books really sell fast, sell quickly. They just don't always have that most profit in them. You can see that the lowest used is $12.71. FBA is coming in at $15.99. That pricing looks good to me. 59 used offers, so the used offers is increasing here over the last two ones, so that means more competition. But I'm confident that I can come in at $15.99, match that lowest offer, and go ahead and get that next sell with this kind of e-score and this kind of rank. The point of books like this is just to get it in and sell it, turn that $250 into $418 profit, and reinvest that money and get more books into Amazon. 
So just for fun, let's go ahead and say I had to sell it at the lowest offer here for 1271. Maybe the competition was so high that I just could not get that sale unless I really dropped it down and wanted to be the lowest overall price, which I definitely don't recommend, especially if you're an FBA seller. Don't try and compete with merchant fulfilled sellers, especially on a book that sells this fast. The time to start competing against Merchant Fulfilled is when that rank gets higher and higher and there are less sales. The less potential for sales, the more you want to be competitive in price. So if I had to sell it for $12.71, I get back a $1.39 profit. The question I get a lot from you guys is what is the lowest price that I would sell a book for? And really that question has a lot of different answers because it has different variables. It has to do with the size of the book, the weight of the book, what those FBA fees, what my buy cost is. But generally speaking, I don't like to go below that $12.99 point, although I have sold books for less, $10.99, $9.99, even $8.99, and still have been able to turn a profit. That is not the business model you want to take unless you have a bulk source. All right, guys, now that we've analyzed books, we've all learned something from the books that I've bought. Let's go ahead and give away that $25 cash PayPal payment. The total amount of scans that I had in this sourcing video was 325. So the closest answer without going over wins that 25 bucks. So who has the closest guess here? 213 we have, 286. That one's pretty close. That might be the one. Uh, 560 is over, 122 is low, 267, 286, Aldo still in the front running here, 168, 350, oh, Victor just a little bit over, brother, let's see, 175, 32, 110, 225, 1200, 1200, 96, 163, 350, again, close but over, 358, close but over, 182, 125, 188, 132, 61, 335. Oh, David, so, so close, brother. 180, 57, 395, 137, 179, 623, 212, 16, 200, 34, and 70. So here it is, Aldo. You are the winner of that $25 cash payment, Aldo. I will guess 286 items scanned. You were the closest without going over. I will be in contact with you and shoot you over that $25 cash payment. Aldo, do me a favor when you get that payment, be sure and comment in this video that you actually got it so people know that everything is legit. This was just for fun, guys. I'll definitely probably do this again just to keep the videos interesting. My name is Josh. EverydayFBA.com is the website. If you guys are interested in getting some free book trading, hit the link in the description and register to win my course, a better book selling course. It's a compact, fast-paced, informative training program that's going to get you really up and running quick. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the next video.